So guys, as you all know, both Usmamani and Aries recently released major projects. One being an album and the other being a mixtape. Twitter has been buzzing ever since. But the big question in this video is, did Aries intentionally drop his mixtape on the same day as Usmamani just to spite him? For those who might not be aware, during an old interview on the Spreading Humors podcast, Usmamani made it clear that he's gunning for the number one spot. He expressed excitement about surpassing artists like Nisty C and Blackie, and boldly stated that the only person left to beat was Aries. He even mentioned that he's coming for Aries, setting the stage for some competitive energy between the two. So it was like a thing of what's okay, and so many lists go number one in these guys. So Durban Lingo is like, okay, come on to look. But it's not a bad thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm on that Kendrick Dondon when he said I'm coming for Drake and whatever, and yeah, they were touched. Yeah. Fact that anyway. victory. So in you know, a screenshots, if it's Gobo Guti, it's a misunderstanding, and it's like that. I was so excited, Guti, how the fuck you play me more than Nasty C, how the fuck you play me more than Blackie. Oh, you've been you know? not that they're doing bad. You're just surprised yeah, that you've like, to this point. Because like in Dan Zegile, umun doing angabu number one, umun oye in Cape Camin, wagu Aries. Yeah. So it's like, oh damn, so Reese is like that? Yeah. I gotta come for Reese next year. But, but not like, off, dog. Okay. not like I'm gun blazing or whatever, you know. That and it was like a misunderstanding. Sense. Now rumors are swelling that Aries dropped his project on the same day as Usma Mani, specifically to mess with the charts and prevent Usma Mani from securing that number one spot. And if it was really his plan, it seems to be working. Aries is currently holding steady at number one, with Usmamani trailing right behind at number two. Shout out to Usmamani though, securing the number two spot is still a major achievement. But this situation does put him in a tricky position, as he can no longer claim that he hit and stayed at number one with his debut. Despite his efforts, he hasn't managed to reach that top spot, at least not yet. But only time will tell how things unfold. But if Aries did indeed plan this release to maintain his dominance on the charts, it definitely adds a layer of drama. Some might see him as the bad guy for blocking Usmamani's rise. But on the flip side, Usmamani's goal was to surpass Reese in the first place, which makes Reese not at fault for doing this. But since music is highly subjective, what do you guys think? Is Aries really the type to strategically drop music just to maintain his chat position and prevent Usmamani from claiming the top spot? How do you feel about the fact that both of these projects were released on the same day? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. Until next time, peace out. Perfect. Perfect.